What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am here to bring you all the weekly JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 Episode Review. I mean, I do do live reactions to this series, of course, so I don't know if you can actually say if this is a weekly review or not. But nonetheless, this is the weekly video for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. And in today's video, we are doing a review for Episode 27. So let's get this started. So in this week's episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, we get a new opening to the series, which is pretty cool. I really like the animation that is done. The transitions in the opening are pretty cool indeed. But what really caught my eye with this opening is the music that plays out in the opening. The music is... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little sick. The music is very mellow and very upbeat and sort of, you know, kind of like a happy-go-lucky theme, it seems. And honestly, to be quite honest, it, it, to me at least, it seems as though we've been getting a lot of happy-go-lucky sort of mellow-down themes in Part 4 of JoJo. Not saying that this is a bad thing, I'm just saying, you know, it's it, it definitely, you know, from Parts 1 through 3... Once you get to part four, it's definitely a different turn of direction as far as how Jojo feels. Because in part one through three of Jojo, it was all just about the battles and stuff like that. You know, very hyped up, very serious battles. And you still get that in Jojo in part four, of course. And you still get great story elements as well. But what I'm trying to say is that part four definitely has a different tone to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure as opposed to parts 1 through 3. And I even see, you know, or it even seems like, you know, the openings are trying to convey that as, you know, we watch JoJo. And I'm pretty sure there are quite a few people who might agree with me that part 4 is kind of like a watered-down sort of tone to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure from, you know, the previous parts that we have seen. And... I'm not saying that part 4 is bad by any means, by any means I actually really like part 4, but there are more parts that I like, you know, a lot more than part 4, um, but I have heard that, you know, when it comes to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there is a lot of tones, you know, being changed throughout the series as the series keeps evolving, because I'm hearing, you know, awesome things about part seven and eight you know stuff like that so yeah I, I just wanted to basically give you my overall thoughts on when it came to the opening the music i liked um but definitely you know it, it definitely seems like a very you know m mellow sort of tone that we you that we don't usually get from jojo's bizarre adventure okay so now let's talk about the episode what was in this episode of jojo this episode was actually quite interesting. We get to see a little bit of screen time with Kira, his new, you know, sort of, you know, persona that he has now, you know, acquired and is now trying to develop as an individual and try to fit in with society to the best of his abilities. And we see that, you know, he still has... Uh, these urges and apparently uh, Josuke also said that there's a lot of you know it's the summer season so there's a lot of tur uh, tourists that are coming into the city of Moria and uh, because of this this is going to make you know Kira you know not being able to control his urges because he can spot young victims that you know meet his requirements so to speak and he will you know, go out and kill them most likely, but Kira is trying his best to suppress his urges to kill, and we even see that uh, apparently his fingernails or his toenails in general start to grow out as, you know, his desire to kill is going to play in effect, and if he suppresses this, you know, this is going to cause a lot of stress on his body, which therefore is causing his fingernails and such to grow out so that was a little bit of a interesting sort of uh you know characteristic that Kira has and it, it seems like Kira's wife we gotta talk about Kira's wife it seems that Kira's wife you know is really digging the new Kira really digging I mean she's completely oblivious as to who he really is but I gotta say man yo <laughs> yo Kira I mean just go in. 
going balls deep. Okay, but in all seriousness, this is pretty much what we see, the only uh, scene that we see in Kira in. We just get to see how he is, you know, trying to deal, you know, with his newfound life. And I see how, you know, the episodes are trying to focus on Kira also, as well as focusing on other aspects in the story of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. You know, they're showing us little tidbits of, you know, the new Kira. And, you know, we see that, you know, lately he has been really suppressing his urges to kill. And eventually there is going to be an episode in which he just freaking breaks out because he can't really control this anymore. And especially being around that busty wife that you got there, man, how are you going to be able to control that stuff? It, it, it seemed like it seemed like he couldn't control himself around his wife. I'm just saying. Okay, so now we get to the... Uh, more probably interesting thing of the episode, we get to see that apparently aliens are confirmed in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yeah. Okay, so Okuyasu and Josuke end up stumbling across a crop circle in, you know, pretty much the one of the uh, parks in Moria, I guess that's where they were at. They're on their way to school and on their way they stumbled across a crop circle and they found a lying uh body in the middle of the crop circle okay and this is where we get to see you know the new character who um i don't really think he even gave his name oh no he did he did it started with like i, I can't remember his name i think it was new new i'm gonna go with new okay so n u i think his name was new if I'm wrong, correct me. But yeah, we're gonna call him Noof right now because that kind of sounds like an alien name, so we're gonna go with that. All right, so Okuyasu and Josuke end up stumbling across this alien, you know, person that looks like a totally normal human being, okay? Okuyasu doesn't believe that this guy is <laughs> a alien whatsoever. Josuke, on the other hand, he does tend to you know, believe that he could actually be an alien. Of course, Okuyasu and Josuke at first don't believe this. Um, Okuyasu kind of just, like, leaves midpoint after the episode. But Josuke sticks around with Nu for quite a while, and there is this whole ambulance scene that plays out where I guess, like, apparently Nu might be allergic to loud noises, okay? He gets very stressed out. You see he has bumps on his hands and... Uh, his forehead and everything, his face is turning red, and he's like telling Josuke, yo, get me out of here, dude, get me out of here, I have a power to turn into anything, and you know what I'm gonna turn into for you to actually get me the hell out of here? I'm gonna turn into some Nike shoes that can leap across like the Hulk all the way to that side of the building over there, so that way I can get as far away from you know, these loud noises as possible, and I want you to tag along with me, so here we go, dude. Woo! Just seeing all this play out was just very comedic in the episode for me, because I'm just like, I'm laying here on my bed, and I'm just like, dude, this guy is freaking, you know, turning into shoes, you know, <laughs> going onto Josuke's feet, and then just leaping across the whole city like the freaking Hulk, and you see him scaling up the wall and shit, and then Josuke is like, yo, it, this guy has to be a stand user, but the thing is, is that New cannot see Josuke's stand at all, so this actually confirms that this is, in fact, an alien residing within the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure verse. So, it's also confirmed that there will be more powers, maybe, in the Josuke Bizarre, or, or jo, Josuke Bizarre, <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure universe, you know, that people can have, or that people can acquire without exactly having, you know, stands. Um, but then again, this is an alien, this is some person that isn't from Earth, so of course, you know, they're gonna have extraterrestrial-like abilities, so there's also that, but yeah, if anything that you get out of this episode, it's that aliens are confirmed in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And then, of course, we see that due to the fact that Josuke ended up helping out New get out of, you know, the loud noise area that he was in, 
um, we see that New ends up making a pact with Josuke as to, you know, I will do anything that you want, and Josuke says, hey, how about you turn into a small dice for me, but not just any dice, a dice that I can use in order to cheat against my opponent in a game of, um, dice. I'm just gonna go with that. I, I, I forget the exact term as, uh, the game they played in, but yes, we see that Josuke ends up going up against Rohan, who, which is the professional manga within JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and, uh, since he lives in a mansion, it is presumed that he, you know, is quite wealthy. So Josuke wants a piece of that pie. He, he wants a piece of that pie. He wants to get some money out of Rohan, so that way he can enjoy his summer. So, we have Josuke appearing to Rohan's mansion, and they end up battling it out in a duel in this dice-like game that they are playing, and for, for money, of course. And due to the fact that Josuke is cheating with you know, new, which is now turned into a dice that can pretty much manipulate the game, so to speak. You know, Rohan is getting very suspicious of Josuke now because Josuke has been collecting a large portion of his money that they have been betting with one another. If anything, I would just say, you know what, why don't we stop the game right here, right now, because I don't want to take all of your money, you know, but, you know, they just keep playing the game out and... Rohan is obviously, you know, getting very suspicious of Josuke, and this is where we see uh, the episode end at. So, the next episode of JoJo, we're going to see more of that, you know, sort of dual play out, of course. But I'm liking New's character, the, the alien uh, character that we got introduced in this episode. I'm really liking him, and it's just very weird to see, you know, that there is a new power involved within the JoJo universe that isn't stand-related, and, it, you know, just having aliens within, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is, is just, you know, it, it's awesome, but weird at the same time, because we're used to the stands, like I said, but, you know, th this man, Araki, you know, the, 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 the author of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, he is one of probably the most creative minds and manga that I have ever seen, <laughs> you know, because he just keeps on coming out with, you know, just ways on how he can make the story more entertaining to his audience. I mean, there's just been a lot of creative stuff, you know, that has been included in this series. I mean, now we have aliens, we have had toy soldier battles, we have had squirt guns, you know, you know, just like... Just some of the wildest things within JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you know, it, it's just, it, it makes me smile, it really does, because it's a very entertaining series, very creative, and that, and because of the fact that it's very creative, that's what makes it wacky, hence the name JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you know, so... Hats off to Araki for making this series very entertaining, eventually I gotta get to the manga at some point, I, I don't really know you know, when I will, but if I ever do, then you can bet that I will end up doing reviews for it in the future, but as of right now, I'd rather stick as an anime only to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure because it's just so entertaining. I'm loving, you know, being experienced this, you know, new stuff that comes out every week within JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and I'm really looking forward to New's character, the, the alien. It, like, <sighs> okay, now I'm getting off on a little you know, discussion right here, so I better cut myself off before I keep on talking about this episode and, you know, the future of JoJo, because that is another time for another video, but yes, as you can already tell, did I enjoy this episode of JoJo? Of course I did. That about does it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below on what you thought about this episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and what are your expectations for next week's episode. Be sure to like this video if you did, and if you want to stick up to date to my future content on this channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below, and you will never miss a video from me. That about does it for this video, guys. Professor Anime, out the